I'm Richard Southern. 2020 was a wild year, of course, to say the least. And things were no different when it came to the world of business. We saw a legitimate market crash in March. Stocks absolutely pummeled, the likes of which we've never seen before in March. I remember March 12th on Bay Street when the TSX fell more than 1,700 points, down 12%, one of its worst days ever. Wall Street crashed as well with the Dow shedding thousands of points a day. Now, all this is the COVID-19 disease arrived in North America and industries left, right, and center were shutting down. But you know, after the dizzying lows of March came the record highs of May and the summer, and we saw stocks rebound in a massive way, led by technology. Investors piling in to big tech stocks and big stay-at-home stocks Zoom, uh, zoomed higher on the markets. Uh, names like Peloton with its exercise bikes also did exceedingly well. The race for the vaccine, a big business story with pharmaceutical companies of all kinds developing vaccines, many of them successful in doing so. Uh, Pfizer coming out with one, of course, Moderna as well. And we saw stocks for those companies edge higher as a result. The grocery store was a big business story this year as of course we spent more time there than perhaps we usually do and bought toilet paper in quantities that we've perhaps never bought it before. A big run of course on, on toilet paper and some other products and you know, people cooking at home more. It resulted in the grocery stores doing exceedingly well. They passed on uh, some of the success to their employees in the way of pandemic pay. The restaurant sector though hurting very much with many restaurants forced to shut down or restrict their operations. And we saw some you know, big uh, restaurants that we go to often go belly up. Within the food sector, there was some very interesting stories this year like the chicken sandwich wars, which arrived in Canada. Popeyes brought its wildly successful chicken sandwich to Canada, which was a hit in the States last year. But along came some competition with KFC Canada coming out with a chicken sandwich of its own. Of course, the other big story in food was food delivery apps really coming into their own in 2020, be it Skip the Dishes or Uber Eats or DoorDash, which actually went public in a big IPO on Wall Street. People were looking at these companies as a way to order in food when they couldn't go out. We'll see if that's a trend that continues next year. Of course, uh, an eye on small business uh, very much this year. Small business probably has never hurt so much uh, with forced closures, forcing many to go out of business and to lay off employees. We'll see if that situation improves in the new year. With a look back in the year that was in business, Richard Southern, City News.